Hey there, this is KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine with Kenneth Butler, also from Laptop Magazine, and we are checking out the uh, unofficial Skype video app that is only for the Thunderbolt that was supposed to come out when the Thunderbolt came out, but it didn't, and then all of a sudden, like, this weird unauthorized version showed up on Droid Live, so we downloaded it to say, should you do this? Should you download this app? for yourself. So right now we are on 4G on the Thunderbolt and Kenneth there is on his computer in his cube which is hooked up to our internet here. So say hi Kenneth. Hello guys. So the the picture that we're seeing of Kenneth is actually pretty good. It's pretty crisp um, and he has like a good HD camera from Logitech over there on his desk. But Ken says that the image that he is getting is not that great. Can you describe it a little bit Kenneth? Okay. Parts of the video. It's not very good image. Okay. So um, we have we have noticed that sometimes there's a little bit of a lag between um, when you start talking and then when we actually hear it on the phone. Uh, and so and we noticed yesterday when we tried this out, there wasn't as much of a lag. So it seems to depend upon naturally the network and how the network is doing at the time. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to do a Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt call on Skype with video and see how that works out. All right, so now we are doing this call Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. Uh, so Kenneth has a Thunderbolt and I have one, and uh, we're both on 4G. So as you can see, Kenneth's picture um, is is go is pretty clear right now, but sometimes it'll shift to being like a little bit blocky. Oh, there we go, another lot blocky, like some sort of you know postmodernist watercolor painting, um, and it seems to just go in and out. And the sound, I'm not hearing a lot of sound from you, but it could just be that the microphone is a little bit low. So tell us what you see, Kenneth. Okay. And the sound too is actually the same way. Um, right. It's, it's clear and there are these digital pockets of things. Yeah, and we're actually noticing that same thing over here too. Static. Yeah, a little bit of static, but it's actually um, much better than we've seen on some other apps going over, you know, 4G, but it's still not quite there, which might be why this app is not on the market yet. It may just not be quite ready. So perhaps the the moral is, even though you can get Skype Mobile for Thunderbird right now, uh, perhaps it's not such a good idea. Maybe we should wait until they release the official version. What do you think, Kenneth? Yeah, but at least they're getting, you know, it's, it's a step in the right direction. That so is true. Let's get that final product. That's right. So that's, that is our message to Skype. Let's get that final product up. So this is KT Bradford, Kenneth Butler. Laptop Magazine testing out Skype Mobile with video for the HTC Thunderbolt that is not official, and now we know why.